Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my channel, my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I appreciate your support. So what we have here is someone is having a brand new passionate beginning. Someone is stepping out on faith, moving forward in life, which is always a beautiful thing, regardless of what's going on in life. This is the mindset that we should all have. Even though you're moving forward in life, there is some type of collaboration, a plan going on behind the scenes to get you trapped in something, some type of toxic relationship. It's like a group of people have a plan to send a masculine towards you to pretend to be your soul twin, to be your twin flame, whatever it is we want to call it, to make ourselves feel comfortable. But there is a plan to cause you some type of illusion. Um, and this is going to be done by a king of wands. This is someone that you may know, someone you may be aware of, not well acquainted with, um, but they do know you. They may know a little bit more about you than you um, are aware of. But you, on the other hand, you don't really pay these people any mind. This is because this has to do with some type of resource or abundance that is due to you. And these people have been working behind the scenes to block you from receiving this uh, resource, this abundance, this inheritance, whatever it is we want to call it. But just be in the know that there is a plan to get you trapped in a union with a false twin. This is someone that is already married or in some type of commitment with another woman who is showing up here as a queen of wands, okay? Um, he may be wanting to end things with this woman, but it's not a genuine thing. It's more so because this person knows that you have a lot of abundance coming your way. This will be why they are putting an end to their connection with this queen of wands because they want to have victory. This is a plan. This is some type of plan by these devious people they, this is what they consider to be a logical plan in order for this masculine to come towards you. It's almost as though you are supposed to take over something, have some type of finance, and they want to have a hand in it. So this masculine thinks that the best way for him to have his hand in your finances or wherever this blessing is, is for him to be married to you or to be connected to you in some type of way, shape, or form. If you, the divine feminine, you get some type of financial payout, do not get married anytime soon to anyone. Make sure that you take time to, you know, build your wealth or wealth or increase your wealth. Don't really focus on things of the like. You, I'm not saying don't focus on love, but don't prioritize that right now. You need to focus on your legacy and building a future for yourself and things like that. And the right person will meet you at the right time. But this person does not have any type of genuine. Uh, uh, intentions for you. This is all a plan to come towards you because you are stepping into abundance, right? So this person has planned this out with these people. These people are all watching you in a lot of different ways, keeping track of you. Someone may even be watching you on social media or a group of people may be watching you on social media because they want to know what it is you're up to. What are your, what are your plans? What do you know? What do you not know? Um, they, they already know they already know that you know everything um so all of the little devious things they've been doing behind the scenes and things like that is just not leading anywhere this is like the end of uh maybe like a collaboration a coving or something like that um but they are refusing to realize and accept that their time is up um so they're doing anything to keep holding on to power even though it's the truth is in the pudding that things are over for them right so you're closing some type of chapter yourself and you are stepping into a new one with victory. You're stepping into your power, focusing on your family, firm, your finances. You're someone extremely career focused. You're being guided to protect yourself right now and stand your ground. You're not being guided to live in fear. However, this these people, they are in some type of fearful state because they know they are about they are about to lose everything. So they are doing things around you and in your personal lives of uh, violating or intruding, intruding, invading your life to cause you some type of discomfort. They, they want you to feel uneasy, but it's just not working um, because you're not really paying attention to these people. You're someone that is career focused and family focused. So this is kind of some what is taking up most of your time. So these people are kind of just entertaining themselves in the universe for the time being. But it's like nothing they do is going to lead to any type of disadvantage for you, right? Uh, someone may want to speak to you. The fact that we have the page of source out here and the three of pentacles, that definitely solidifies to me 
that you are being watched in a lot of different ways. Don't pay it any mind. Don't let anyone make you feel uncomfortable in your life. Go on about your day. There could be people that are keeping you know, track of your every move, maybe GPS and things like that. Do not pay it any mind. Just go on about your day. There will be balance brought into this situation. This, uh, this abundance is your birthright. So there is nothing anyone can do to prevent you. It's like they're doing these things to intimidate you, but it's not working. So they're getting even more desperate. There's a woman in here that knows that her time is up. She is coming to an end. It's like one empire is coming to an end while another is rising. And the reason this empire is coming to an end is because this is a dark empire. These are people that are cold-hearted, malicious, void of any human emotions because they are so greedy, focused on finances and things of that nature. So their empire has to come to an end in order for yours to rise up from the ashes so that you can bring balance back in this institution or whatever this situation has to do with. There could be people within this, situ in, within this situation, this institution, this enterprise, this business, whatever it is, they really need you to come in and fix things because they've been living in poverty for many, many years due to the greed of the other, the higher ups and whatnot. Um, and that is what I'm getting from Marie is that you have a divine purpose to bring balance in this institution in the lives of those that have been disadvantaged for so long because of other people's greed. Okay, someone is watching you, they may want to pick some type of fight with you, uh, get you all emotionally wired up and things like that. Do not respond to anything people do. Someone is having some type of emotional and financial loss as well. And this is because they've been paying a lot of money behind the scenes to cause you distress, cause the, uh, have people stalking you, people violating your privacy, people wanting to make people going out of their way to try to make you feel uncomfortable. But you're like just going on about your day, maybe even relaxing, just focusing on your career, your job and your family, your children, yourself, whatever it is that you are doing in life to, you know, have a, a peaceful uh, existence and things like that. These people don't have any peace in their life. Obviously, if you have peace in your life, you will not go to, the, to this extent to do any of these uh, childish things to make anyone feel uncomfortable in their life. And they're doing all of this for money. Remember, I said they're greedy. This is all because of money. When money is the guiding force in people's life, they have no type of logical way of going about in life. They don't think logically. Everything is about, is about money. Even if it does not belong to them, they feel entitled to it. So this is why these people are going out of their way to cause you or to try to cause you heartache, stress, and things like that. But you're going to be just a-okay. For some reason, I just heard the word alter. So there is someone in here or a group of people. Some of them may have altars. Maybe they even have pictures of you on those altars. I heard voodoo dolls. Someone may have a voodoo doll of you that they stab in the heart. And in other places, they're even maybe twisting the legs and the neck of this voodoo doll, hoping that something happens to you, but you're still waking up and going on about your life like, like nothing is happening. <laughs> like nothing is going on. And that's because you are heavily protected. You're someone that has a heavy calling on your life. There's someone in this situation that is watching you and in disappointment because they realize that they betrayed the only genuine person that they're uh, came across in this situation someone betray you heavily but some of you this could be someone that you know and for other of you this is someone that you had some type of really genuine and innocent connection with but they took it for granted because of the things this group of people may have told them um so they turn turn on you and may have even indulged in some dark energy and things like that and i'm hearing like uh uh love spells a lot of root chakra uh root energy being used, root magic being used against you and things like that. And this is because these people want you to be uh, like a loose cannon out here just laying with anyone because this is what these people do is lay with any and everyone. Uh, they have no boundaries, so they don't want you having any type of boundaries. There's a lot of mental magic that was going on as well, but you're someone that is still mentally balanced. And some of these people are baffled because they know the extent that they went to trying to break you, but they could not break you. So it's like they are 
in admiration of you, but then they also hate you at the same time because they know they cannot defeat you, they cannot take you down. So what do they do? They keep watching you and keep doing the stupid stuff that they are used to doing, uh, even though it's not working because they just think, oh, this is going to be the, the one time that I get it right where we're going to win against him or against her. Fails. Oh, let's try again. We're going to get it right this time. This time it's going to work. Fail. I bet you this is the, the last time if we do it again, it's going to work. And and then they just keep trying. But then as you, as an outsider looking in, you see everything they're doing, you're like, where are these people going to learn? Like, I'm sitting here uh, stuffing my face with food, watching videos on YouTube and TikTok, minding my business, not really paying people any mind. When are you all going to learn that none of this stuff is meant to work? It's never, it never was meant to work, but they don't get that. They're, the thing about life is that life is a big game and the game is between good and evil, but there is an illusion that evil lives under where they think that they stand a chance to win against good. That is not going to happen. There is nowhere in the universe where good ever wins over evil. And there's that, there's a stagnation period where, you know, the balance the things are uneven, but balance always comes back into play. And because that is how it is set in the universe, good always overcomes evil. That is already destined to happen. If there is an end of time, if you make it to the end of time, good overcame evil. That's how it's set up in the universe in creation. So this whole illusion that they think they're going to win over you or something like that something like that is just like a mental thing um it's not going to go anywhere basically um so you are speaking the truth about something or you are pulling your sore out on these people someone may want to speak to you about a betrayal in regards to a finance financial blessing or something like that you're pulling your sore out you're just say what you have to say but if you you know stray away from what the truth is, or you say something I don't want to hear or don't care to hear, I'm going to cut you up. And this is exactly the mindset you're supposed to have. You don't have time for the BS like these people. Obviously, they have to have a lot of time for BS if you have time to be stalking people online, in life, driving past people's homes and things like that. It's just a whole lot going on in here, and we don't have time for all of that nonsense. So you're pulling your sword out on these people. You are the queen of swords. You are the queen of cups. You are the queen of wands. You are the queen of pentacles. You are every queen within the deck. So you are someone extremely abundant, balanced, intellectual, beautiful, all the above and some more. And people may have been intimidated or are intimidated by this very nature of you. Uh, someone is wanting you to juggle. Um, they want to come in and cause you some type of confusion. So you can make the wrong decision, but that is not how that's going to go. You know the truth of the matter. Something in here belongs to you. There is a financial blessing, uh, an inheritance that belongs to you, and you are going to get just that. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, if they want to give more kudos, maybe their hearts are being healed, but we highly doubt it with these karmics. Karmics take forever to heal. They may not even heal this lifetime. It's going to take a couple of lifetimes. For any of these people to really start the healing process but someone wants to come in and cause you some type of illusion have you juggling your options and things like that they may even present you with some little opportunity so you can miss out on the bigger opportunity that's meant for you it's not going to go that way there's a king of swords in here you need to be mindful of as well he may want to come in give you some type of message as well this person was aware of what was going on with this collaboration as well this person did something in the past to betray you. They may have falsified some type of document or accepted some type of payment from this group, this toxic group to cause you some type of loss, okay? Something happened, maybe this person is not seeing things from a higher perspective, deciding to do things the right way. Um, so they may be reaching out to you, sending you a message or something like that. Know that these people have been blocking communications from coming to you. And I'm talking about text messages phone calls, emails, they've been doing a whole lot to block you from receiving some type of message, but you're still going to receive the message in the way that it was intended for you to receive it. And I am putting it that way so that these people do not know exactly how you're going to be getting this message. There's something, some, there's, a, some, there's a way that you are meant to get this message that they cannot block. When you are meant to have this message, have a hold of this message, 
there is going to be nothing and no one that can block this message from coming to you. So do not worry. Nothing is delayed. Nothing is being kept from you. You're going to get your blessing at the due time, on the due date. No meaning early, no meaning later. Okay, so just rest assured. You are being seen as someone extremely wise, all-knowing. Well, not all-knowing, wise-knowing. I don't like to use the term all-knowing because then that makes us complete. But because of the fact that we are in flesh means that we are not complete. We still have things to learn. So I do not like to hear, uh, use the phrase all-knowing. What I will say is wise-knowing. That means that you are someone extremely wise. Okay? Uh, you're, you, you are above uh the others around you you know a lot about life creation universe how things work you are someone extremely wise um and, and very beneficial to have around and someone in here is going within about this situation as well to see the truth or they were forced or guided to go within to see the truth about the matter um and this is why they are taking this action someone knows that you are extremely wise so you could have been painted out to be someone that was uh, um, mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. Someone may be retarded and things like that. Um, I've had people do this to me in the past, and this is because I'm my I'm like highly intuitive. So sometimes, a lot of the times, I know things that are going on and and they're not even happening yet. It's like I'll know something that's gonna happen a year from now, two years from now, and. Other people are not there with me yet. So when I say something, it'll come out like I'm retarded until it happens. And they're like, oh my gosh, she said that. And But people may have slandered you in that way where they said that you were retarded. They didn't know what, what was going on. And I'm so sorry to use that word mentally. We're supposed to say mentally ill, but you, I'm not saying it in a, a derogatory way. I'm just, just, I'm just saying that this is what these people were saying about you, that you were unfit to manage your own wealth, to manage your business, to manage your life, something in here about you. So people could have forged documents with your signature on there. Um, it's, it could be that someone was passing away, uh, whether it was a relative or someone that thought highly of you was passing away and they may have put you in their will um, and you were supposed to receive something from an older gentleman. Um, but these people came in, did their own dirty works, dirty deeds to block you from receiving this opportunity. And now there is an investigation going on. And these people may not even know that there has been an investigation going on for quite a long time. So everyone in this situation, there is a lot of dirt that has been dug up on them that they are not aware of. It's almost as though there is a business and then there is like a another business within a business. So it's like it's a coving that is operating a business and the business owners are maybe aware of it now and they have been investigating behind the scenes to bring an end to this COVID. Uh, so this is what that is. You're showing up here as the star. Um, so this means that you are someone who is a true speaker or visionary. You are a blessing to have around. You have a blessing to come that's coming around for you as well. That's going to help you uh step into this brand new life uh, turn over a new leaf step out on fit be a little bit more passionate about life because right now your life may be stagnant and things like that so this blessing is going to help you have a little bit more of a positive outlook on life um so that is always a beautiful thing someone did go within about you to see the truth and this is why they are reaching out Someone may have seen the truth about you, maybe from watching you, hearing you, talking to you, something. They had some type of interaction or something was revealed to them. And this has led to them being able to see the truth about you. And this is why things are being brought into balance. Um, so you're stepping out in faith, right? There is a love opportunity that's going to be coming towards you, but it is not with this king of wands. This is someone that is trapped in a toxic situation, a coven, a relationship, a institution, some type of structure, this king of wands is trapped within that because this person may have been initiated or has been with these people for many, many years. So they're trapped in something that they cannot get out of. You have abundance in a relationship that's going to be coming towards you um, in the future. Um, not very far from now, but sometime in the future, you will have a new relationship that will be genuine and 
with reciprocity, but it is not meant to be with this King of Wands um, because this is someone that is in their devilish energy. This is someone superficial. Um, this is someone that's in some type of relationship with a toxic Queen of Cups. Um, these two are a match for each other because they are equally toxic, right? This is this masculine allowed these people to kind of leave him astray where he was not able to speak the truth about the situation that was going on. So they are the perfect match for each other. Do not put yourself with this masculine. Do not collaborate with this masculine. Do not get in a relationship with this masculine. This is the uh, um, the devil in disguise, like a handsome devil, right? So they will come to you looking all beautiful and things like that. But honey, there is nothing going on on the inside that is going to make you think anything. Nothing going on in the inside that is going to stimulate your brain cells in any way because this person... All they know and care about is how they look because they are able to use their looks to get them what it is that they want in life. And this is how this person has always uh, operated in their life, using their looks to manipulate others to get what it is that they want. OK, um, so someone may be in here defending you, defending your wealth, defending your blessing, protecting your finances because they know what it is these people have been trying to do to you. The truth has been revealed. So this person is making a decision to bring things to your attention, right? Someone knows you're someone extremely feisty, someone that is cutthroat. You don't let people play around with you and things like that, but you don't have any choice but to be that way because of all of these experiences you've had with these types of people and throughout life, it has molded you into this person that you have become so that you can stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself, make sure people are not crossing you. You may come, you may be someone that's feisty, but I don't think that's how you come across. You may more so come across as someone that is shy maybe someone that's a pushover or something of that nature, but I'm not getting that you are someone that is like a, a pushover. You just, you carry yourself with respect. You may be on the quiet side of things. People don't know the truth about your personality um, because you're someone that carry, carries yourself one way out in public and you may be another way behind closed doors. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean that when you're out in public, you know to carry yourself with respect and then behind closed doors, you're a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more comfortable and can say what it is that you want. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? This is kind of how we are told to be in our professional world, professional life. Be professional, be modest when you are at work. And then when you're at home, you're free to do what it is that you want to do. So you can, because that is your place of comfort. You should be able to express yourself freely. Now we have the three of pentacles out here. There was a three of pent I mean, a collaboration that involved a queen of wands that wanted to pick some type of fight with you, wanted to steal something from you. This person has been trying to steal from you for quite a long time. This is someone that thinks that they're better than you in some way, shape, or form, but it's an illusion. This is someone extremely delusional. Um, but you yourself, you're showing up here as a queen of wands. Well, and the fact that you initially showed up as a queen of cups means that you're someone that's loving to people. You don't go around picking fights. You're not someone superficial and things like that. However, when it comes to battle, you know when to become that queen of wands. You know when to pull out, when to uh, pull out logic, be noble and things like that. But you also know when to stand your ground with people, right? Uh, you're a fighter. And people may not know, know that because you initially present yourself as a queen of cups but you're really also a queen of wands because you're all four queens in the deck. You know when to utilize all of these different queens within the deck, when to represent each energy. And that is a beautiful attribute to have about yourself. You know when to speak up when, when, it, when it's time. You know when to have people cut out their BS, cut the crap out. You know when to take charge of your life and things like that. So you're just someone extremely remarkable. And it could just be that because you are a powerhouse, this is a lot to have in one person. You're not just intellectual. You are beautiful. You are loving, down to earth, hardworking, finance focused, work focused, family focused. You are a powerhouse. You are extremely intimidating to people that do not have their life together. Um, and this is why a lot of the times you may have trouble relating to people or you may have problems with people coming after you and you just don't know why. This is because you are a bad ASS. 
people just don't know what to do with you they are intimidated by you even people that are older than you are extremely intimidated by you but you're not doing anything to cause these people any type of dis-ease or anything like that this is just how they are this is their insecurity showing when you come around or when you when your name come up and things like that you can't help it that you're a bad ass that's how you are like you've went through a lot of experiences but you didn't let those experiences break you you instead allow those experiences to mold you into the beautiful person you are today and that's how it's supposed to be um we have you starting off here as the queen of queen of cups there is another queen of cups in here that is um not on the best side of things this is someone that operates from a lower energy uh standpoint this is someone that uh embraces their lower vibrational um nature so we're going to kind of leave her at that i think i did a reading on this woman and when i did a reading on her she showed up as a queen of cups in reverse um and the whole reading was just a whole lot of negative energy nasty energy that i just did not want to be in for too long and i was just over the reading i had to keep laughing a little bit throughout the reading just to keep my positive energy about myself so that i wouldn't lose my mental but that woman her energy i cannot anyways you, you are experiencing some type of ending this is not a bad ending this is a chapter coming to an end for you so that you can begin a new chapter a new fulfilling chapter there could be some type of loss um that you're going to experience but it's okay because you have good news coming in so you may lose something or this is what has already happened for a lot of you you've already lost some finances but you have good news coming in that's going to lead to multiple streams of income for you so you're going to have some type of positive new news coming in something that you are working on or something that you're going to receive is going to tick off really quickly and this is because the universe knows how much work you put into this passion of yours whatever it is you're passionate about dedicated to and hold dear to your heart the universe knows right and this is something these people were trying to take from you as well and it's just not going to happen because it's not meant to happen this is something you've worked extremely hard to build and it is yours for the keeping now we have the devil out here uh, so there is a lot of toxicity going on these are people with a, with a lot of toxic habits unhealthy habits drinking explicit activities with one another explicit activities with other people husbands and partners and things of that nature it's just a whole lot going on here criminal activities just indulging in some of the lowest and lowest activities you can think of in human nature right and we're not going to judge these people but this is because they have entities attached to them uh, unfortunately there are covens uh, quotes today that have a misconception about what these types of institutions are supposed to represent um, so they have people in involving themselves in low vibrational activities not realizing that they're just uh, accumulating karma and setting themselves back right accumulating curses and things like that on their lineage and things like that um, but you regardless of these people what what they have going on whatever plan they have going on in regards to your abundance you're still going to receive this abundance because it is yours victories is yours says the most high says your ancestors you have a guardian here that is protecting you watching over you you may not be aware of this person but there is someone working in the background to look out for you because you are like one person in the fistful against all of these people this is a whole a whole institution and they may have even reached out to other institutions to try to keep you down right um but there is someone working behind the scenes looking out for your good fighting on your behalf but they are doing this discreetly because if they speak out about this publicly then they are going to become a target for these people right so we're not going to dig too deep in, in, in about this person because we need them to keep their privacy we need to keep them keep them a secret and not uh, review them in any way shape or form okay but this is someone extremely wise knowing someone very very gifted extremely gifted not just uh, um, mentally but spiritually and emotionally as well we have a king of wands in here i did mention that king of wands is supposed to come in and pretend to be your partner your soul twin your twin flame we're not going to be dealing with that energy this is someone that has been trapped 
in a union for a long time and this is because this queen of cups is someone that does some type of magic behind closed doors and this is how she's been able to trap this masculine to her there is nothing genuine about this relationship it is all due to superficiality and materialism these two have a lot of money together so this is why they've been together these two are two people that indulge in like maybe monash twice and they're just kind of like it's like an open relationship basically right they cannot leave each other because of finances and things like that so they are trapped they're tied to each other um these two are partners in crime so they have done things over the years to steal from other people so there's nothing to gain from this masculine this is someone that has a lot of healing to do so if you choose to get with this person you're going to be setting yourself up for failure and heartbreak and you do not want that a lot of these people are walking around with masks on they have been wearing these masks for so long that they don't even, they're like re denying their actual self. It's like looking in the mirror and seeing that you are a, a, a Indian person and then you say, mm -mm, I'm not Indian, I'm Caucasian. And you believe it because you've been telling yourself that lie for so long. That's how these people are. This is like the reality that they are living in. A uh, delusion, let's call it that the delusion that they have been living in for so long that they have started believing it they believe it they live it they embrace it they embody it we're going to leave that to them to figure out you're showing up here as the queen of pentacles so this masculine knows that you have abundance coming in you're someone abundant someone financially stable someone down the earth family focused they may be wanting this type of lifestyle secretly but they don't have the emotional capacity or the mental capacity to uh, materialize their reality with you. So that's why I am strongly advising you to not get with this king of wands. If this person comes into your energy, you will get some type of weird, funny feeling about them. Like your stomach will tell you, do not get with this person. Like you'll feel it in your stomach. And if you decide to go against your intuition, that is your bee's knees. You do what works for you, honey. But I have done my part. To let you know do not do it okay that's my part of the contract to let you know uh so they see you as someone abundant they see you as the queen of swords so there's also another queen of swords in here that does a lot of trickery this is someone that's cool cunning she was she may have been the one that was working with this person in the past manipulating this person to cause you some type of loss so it was like she was pretending like she was speaking on your behalf looking out for you but this King of Swords found out like this woman is extremely vindictive, uh, very malicious, cold-hearted, and things like that, and was just juggling him. A lot of these people was just are just juggling each other, not really getting anywhere in life, just going around in a loop with one another, not progressing in life, being stuck at the same job for umpteen years and things like that, in the same real unhappy relationships, nothing going on for themselves, no career or, or, or growth, nothing nothing at all it's like starting at a company washing dishes and you stay washing dishes for 30 years you want to tell me in 30 years you couldn't go to school you couldn't learn a different skill maybe even ask for a promotion to a different department or something but for 30 years you were washing dishes make it make sense so yes so you're showing up here in at the end of our story you're showing up as the queen of pentacles you're taking charge of your life focusing on your finances your career moving forward in life you're standing up for your truth speaking up the, speaking the truth and things like that regardless of how people feel you are showing up as the star out here so that means you are someone extremely abundant abundant someone that is guided by the universe very protected um cherished and loved this was your calling you may have been amongst these group of people and they may have hated you because you didn't you didn't uh, uh uh scoop to their level right you didn't indulge in indulge in the things that they were indulging in the low vibrational activities and they may have hated you for this but you were in this group in amongst these people this church the school this organization institution co uh, corporation whatever it was you were there as a spiritual investigator god put you in that setting so that you could see the truth about these people, understand a coven that was going on because there's someone in this company that did not understand where all of the darkness was coming from. So you were the light. 
that was put into this institution to illuminate the truth, reveal what was hidden, right? And someone had an inkling. Like, it's like there was a couple in here that had an inkling that someone was betraying them for many years, but they just couldn't figure out who it was because the person that was doing it has a very skilled talent of masking themselves to be someone uh, positive, someone nurturing, someone caring, but on the inside, this is someone void of any human emotions. This is someone just greedy. Okay, and this is part of the reason why this devil's car is out here because there's someone in here that pretends to be a queen of cups, but she's not. She is not. Publicly, she pretends to be a queen of cups, but she is far from it. Anyways, that is your re. I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. As always, stay blessed and goodbye.